Hustlers, it's your boy JT Hustles back again with another video. Yo, yo, shout out to JT Hustles for teaching people how to become entrepreneurs on YouTube and all over social media. Continue the good work, my brother, JT Hustles. <laughs> and in this video, this is a continuation, if you will, or if this is the first time you've seen it, it's a brand new video. But um, I try to do a live stream talking to you guys about this, but it's storming outside, so if you guys hear any kind of background noise, Hopefully the mic doesn't pick it up, but if it does, that's what it is. It's a thunderstorm outside. So I said I'm going to do a pre-recorded video, edit it, and upload it so that way you guys can see it, consume this information without a ton of buffering, right? Um, but nevertheless, the reason why I was trying to do it live from my phone is for those of you that are in my courses, specifically in the influencer course, I tell you guys, you can start off with just your phone, grow a channel, and create a brand and make money off of it, and then take that money to reinvest in yourself. Click the link down below, check out the Courses in Hustle Academy, it got great reviews, but that is why we tried to do this the first time with our phone, but we have another video previous to this that we did with our phone, and that'll have to be the example until after this storm passes. But without further ado, let's get into it. I choose not to be a common man. It's my right to be uncommon if I can. I seek opportunity, not security. I do not wish to be a kept citizen, humbled and dull by having the state look after me. I want to take the calculated risk to dream and to build, to fail and to succeed. I refuse to live from hand to mouth. I prefer the challenges of life to the guaranteed existence, the thrill of fulfillment to the stale calm of utopia. I will never cower before any master, nor bend to any threat. It's my heritage to stand erect, proud and unafraid, to face the world boldly and say, this I have done. All right, you guys, so um, I posted on the community tab of this YouTube channel, also on my Instagram. If you're not following your boy on Instagram, what are you doing? Follow your boy on Instagram. You're doing yourself a disservice at this point in time. But um, I told you guys, any questions, comments, concerns you have, um, put it down, and I'll try to answer it in this video. Um, I told you guys I was recording immediately after the, the live stream had to be ended because of the buffering, but um, nobody put any questions down. So what we're going to do here is uh, I'm going to take the top five questions that I think people would need to know about this business based off of the occasional questions I get from time to time since I told you guys that I was getting in the apps. I have them in my phone, so you guys will see me looking at my phone to reference this information. We're going to do some screen sharing. Uh, like this video if you haven't done so already. Share with anybody you think it can help. If you like this kind of content. So question number one is why apps? Why apps? JT, you talk about doing a lot. What now has you interested in doing apps? Well, what I love about apps is that how you can create a, a very dope app, whether it's a business app, game app, or whatever. Um, you can create it. You can put it out there in the respective app store, the Play Store on Android, or the Apple App Store. People can download it, and you can make passive income to semi-passive income off of it reason why i say passive income is because i personally know developers that set it and forget it and they receive money every month every year off of that off of those apps me being a professional marketer i don't like that business model even though i know people that's making money doing it i'm not saying that it works for everybody but what i do know will work for everybody is if you actually do some marketing so that's the approach that i personally like that's why i say it'll be semi-passive if you do some marketing but are there people out there that Create an app, put it in the app store, set it and forget it, and it makes them money, yes. Now, are they getting rich off of it? Nah, I know people that make in the neighborhood of a few hundred to a few thousand dollars uh, off of their app completely passive, and that's about it, right? So, let's keep it going, though, but that's why I like apps. I like that you can build a portfolio of apps, and you can market them, or I know somebody going to watch this video, and even though JT said he don't recommend it, uh, you can set it and forget it. And just eat off of it in perpetuity. Off of something that you did one time. Same reason that I like being an author and a YouTuber. I create this content today. As long as this information is valid, I can still benefit from it. Same thing with my books and other things. So the same reason I like creating YouTube content. And the same reason why I like writing books, uh, apps, is the natural progression in that passive to semi-passive income. How did I find developers? I tell you guys, um, I invested in books. Um, the books are downstairs now on my bookshelf because um, I don't see any handy. But um, I put it out there. I just let people know at the end of 2019 that, hey, going into 2020, I want to learn more about real estate and tech. And I feel like that is the foundation of how people can build wealth in a real way 
and in a practical way. So you guys know I went out, bought the house. Uh, I'm taking you guys step by step through the gradual progression of fixing up the house and getting that to an acceptable condition. And the same thing with tech. Um, I'm really thinking about pulling the trigger on 3D printers. Um, but right now we on apps. So we're going to double down on apps. We'll worry about other stuff as we uh, grow. And we're going to uh, test the water on a lot of different things. Find out what we like. And I'm going to share it with you guys because you guys may like something different than what I like. So I think that real estate and tech is something that I really want to focus on this year. Uh, get a fundamental understanding on. And I think that I can apply that to my portfolio of everything else that you guys know that I do to become a well-rounded entrepreneur. And you guys know my last boss was Warren Buffett. Berkshire Hathaway owns a ton of companies. So, of course, that's the blueprint that I want to follow in my own way, right? In my own way. So, that's how I find developers. Now, um, not saying that that's practical for you guys because I do understand that maybe uh, you can't just put the word out on social media and people hit you up. So, that's why uh, this next question uh, is going to give you guys a lot of value. Where do you go to find apps? Literally, there's a ton of places you can go. We could be here all night uh, since I'm recording this video at night with me trying to tell you guys where to go. But what we're going to do is we're going to simplify it, just like how I simplified the independent courier game for you guys that wanted to learn that. And we started with Craigslist, and you can go from there. For apps, we're going to start with this website called Flippa. Flippa, F-L-I-P-P-A. And I'm going to hit the screen share button uh, so you guys might see it better and understand it better if you're visual learners, right? I apologize for the part of the video that I'm in that covers it up, but we'll make it work, right? Flippa.com, F L I. PPA.com. Now I'm going to click on apps. It's one of the options in the top um, of the search bar. All right. I want to see all of the apps. All right. We're just going to do this live. Now you see, I already got it checked iOS and Android apps. Now, if we're brand new, this is my two cents to each their own. You guys know I always tell you don't become a lazy entrepreneur. And expect somebody to hold your hand and tell you step by step how to do everything. So take this with a grain of salt. But if you want my personal advice for what it's worth, um, I don't recommend that you start off with any app that's over $500. So I'm going to go into the price range and I'm going to say $500. I'm going to see what it brings up. All right. Um. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. All right. That's pretty much standard. We'll okay that. Let's get that off the screen. So. We got that. Now, this brings up a list of different apps. Keep in mind, Flipper is not the only website. Don't y'all go to get dependent on Flipper, and then Flipper goes out of business, and another website comes in business, and then, ah, oh, JT, what we gonna do? Nah, I told you. Let this be on your list of resources. Add to it. Um, So, Side Jumps, Tricky Plumber, Fast Pizza, Paint Bounty, Ball Paint Blast, Splash Shooter, um, Volume Booster, a lot of different options. Uh, you guys on your own time can go through, uh, set your own parameters um, and go through what you guys are most interested in. For simplicity, we're going to pick the first option. But before I click the first option, what I want to talk to you guys about is just basically the importance of uh, analyzing it. Keep in mind, I'm not an app expert. I'm not an app developer. I read some books. I work with developers. I'm a hands-on practitioner. So don't take this as somebody that's telling you 1,000% this is the only way to be successful with apps. This is from somebody that is new to it, that's learning it, that's sharing the information with you. You guys that know more than me about this subject matter, feel free to put it down in the comment section. I am working behind the scenes with the developers that are helping me so that we can come up with some sort of webinar or course where they can teach you way more than me. They've been in the game over a decade. You guys know it's April. Um, I just now got into the game. So um, they've been in it way longer than me, right? Well, it's actually May. Uh, my bad. It ain't April. I don't even know what time it is. But now that I gave that disclaimer, let's start with side jumps. When we're looking at an app, it says an Android app. For those people that want an Android and an iPhone app, hey, it's important to read everything. I know a lot of people don't do a lot of reading. Yo, got to get on your reading game. There's an Android only app. Um, it's in the hobbies and game industry. Monetization is advertising. Uh, the app age, the net profit, no reserve, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it got nine bids on it, three days left. 
$35. The developer is in the UK, the United Kingdom. All right, you guys see that? So um, let's click on the first one. All right, boom. Side jumps. Let's immediately click here. Let's see it in the Google Play Store. All right. Side jumps. We see the reviews. Got 15 reviews. Contains ads. Gives us some screenshot of the gameplay. Looks pretty much like you just jump in from level to level. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward. Uh, side jumps. Is, is keeping you, uh, is telling you your score, your best score, the total, and etc. All right, it got five star reviews, 15 total reviews. Um, hard game, nice concept. Uh, hey, please email me. Have a look at adding more characters, please. Um, so you can read the reviews here. It was updated April the 25th of 2020. All right, so it was recently updated. You see the size of it. Uh, has over 100 installs, is rated for everyone, requires an Android 4.1 and up. All right, so all of that information tells you who the developer is. You can email the developer um, as well if you wanted to. So, um, and it gives their, their business address, 97 Church Street, London. All right, but we already knew that they were from the UK because it told us that on Flipper. Now, pro tip here from a newbie, if, if there is such a thing. Um, I don't recommend that you buy any app that you do not test out yourself. So, buy an inexpensive iPhone. It ain't got to be the latest and greatest. Buy an inexpensive Android phone. It ain't got to be late, the latest or greatest. This Android phone at Walmart, um, I don't even know the, the name of it no more. It was like 50 bucks. You can get an old iPhone. Don't think you got to get the newest iPhone. But just get you both devices if you're going to get an Android and an iPhone app. Now, if you just want to do Android, because a lot of people like Android, because it's easier to upload into the Play Store, it's less red tape than getting it in the iOS, the Apple Play Store, uh, and I'm dealing with that now as well. Um, hey, and if you don't have an Android phone, go and invest in an inexpensive one and test it out before you buy it. But now, let's jump back into it. Reserve is a dollar. Um, always come see what the reserve price is, right? See what that reserve price is. Um... Uh, it looked a little bit different than when we visited it uh, earlier. Let me see. You could contact the seller. Four days left. Uh, premium public auction. No reserve. $101 uh, plus revenue. Fast bids. Get home. Income. Crazy. Addictive gameplay. All of this is what they're supposed to write. So I expect this to be uh, very well written. Uh, I don't take it to heart if you understand what I'm saying. So invest and get money from home. Bid now. Make $101 in one week. Add my proof revenue down below in screenshot section and hyperactive game with five-star reviews. Buy now for marketing strategy. So um, if I was interested in buying this app, again, I'm using it for an example. As I'm reading all of this, I would have it downloading to my actual Android phone and I would play it a few times and I would see if I like the gameplay um, understanding that it, it looks like it's more so for small children. Nothing wrong with that. Um, you can make a ton of money with free apps that cater to small children. I did my research and I found that some of the apps that made the most money are, you know, of course, at the very top of the list are the usual suspects, uh, social media apps. So Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, of course. Uh, the practicality of you creating another one of those is slim to none, just being real, not trying to discourage anybody. If you want to create a social media app or buy one, by all means, do that. Um, then, of course, uh, they have the, the regular apps. But what's most practical for us is gaming apps. Candy Crush uh, is the highest cro is the highest grossing excuse me, game as of this upload, made over $3 billion. Uh, it's a free app. It actually came installed on this phone, and it may come uh, pre-installed in other devices as well. Um, the question you may have is, JT, how do I make money off a free app? I'm glad you asked. Um, it can be in-app purchases, or it can be advertisements, the same way this YouTube channel makes money. Either ads or in-app purchases. An example of an in-app purchase for this could be, I tell you guys, go check out Hustle Academy, invest in a course, buy a book, blah, blah, blah. Maybe drop some affiliate links, stuff like that. So if you understand YouTube, or if you don't, I just broke it down to you. Same concept loosely applies to the app. So in free apps, make a lot of money. 
Uh, so don't think that you got to charge somebody a dollar, ten dollars, whatever to download your app. Um, or you might want to have a free app. And if it's a ton of ads in it, you charge them to have the ad free version, give free trials. You know, there's endless ways you can make money. You guys get the point, though. Um, it's a month old. Net profit is seventy one dollars per month. I'm not signed in. Um, I'm I have an account on my other computer uh, that I could sign into and look at, and uh, I might try to do that too while we're on here. But I'm gonna give you guys a second to look at it as we go. And if you haven't done so already, this is your reminder: smash that like button, share this video with anybody you think it can help. Um, I want you guys to know that that kind of stuff does actually help the channel. So if you like this kind of content, you want the channel to continue to grow, uh, people like me to continue to make content, um, the way that you can help us is by sharing the content, allowing the brand to continue to grow, right? So um, now if you don't like this content, you don't got to do anything at all. But it's free to do, and that's just one of the uh, few ways you can show your support uh, to your favorite uh, creator, not just me. All right, so um, I'm logged in uh, here on the other computer, and I right, seller notes. I'm gonna just read them to you, you guys. Since um, you uh, it's free to make an account as well, but since I'm already signed uh, in on my other computer, I'm gonna just read it from here. Um, it says no coronavirus fear. Get money from home. Bid now. We are an Android development business. Grab this opportunity. Buy now a great app for future earnings. And just less than a month, it has over 100 active installs. Game made $101 in revenue in a month. Check below for screenshot proof. Amazing math fun for users. Five-star reviews on Google Play. First on the Google Play search site. What is included in the sale? Game contains amazing addictive game. Been played for hours. One of our best creations yet. Now, when people start hyping out uh, any app this much, my question is, why are they uh, going to sell it? And um, now there are some businesses that that's their business model. We just make apps to sell them. We're not interested in holding them uh, for a long time and marketing them and et cetera. But as you guys can see what I highlighted as well, this shows you how much money this person has made off of Flipper. So they got 83.3% positive feedback across 61 transactions, totaling $23,386. So, um, it, apparently that's how they're making their money. So of course everybody should hype up their app. Nobody's gonna put an app and be like the app is all right. You it could be better, but y'all can check it out. You know it'll get you started, right? So when you see stuff like this, again I'm not calling anybody a liar, but I'm telling you guys, hey, do your due diligence and um, take everything with a grain of salt. No bugs, no running costs. You can find out about the bugs and stuff yourself by downloading the app and playing it. And if there's any glitches, freezing, any bugs you notice in the gameplay, anything you don't like, uh, that will prove whether or not it's true or not. Um, and yeah, so you can make a free account. You can read all of this uh, for yourself. They do drop the ad mob revenue proof report. Um, I'll pull that up. I, and well, it actually takes you to a YouTube video. So uh, I'm going to let you guys check that out for yourself. Uh, if and when you're interested in doing so on that. All right, so let's jump back into it real quick. Um, you can watch this seller. You could see their other listings. You can contact them. All right, they're verified on the platform, and I think that's pretty much it if I don't sign in on this device. We're going to keep it moving, and I'm going to keep on bouncing around the, the other questions that I have as well. Um, how we're going to do this is this channel has over 63,000 subscribers. So if you guys like this kind of content, it helps you, and you want to see more information like this on the YouTube channel, get this video to 2,000 likes and comment down below your additional questions. I think that 2,000 likes is not too much to ask for an audience this size, um, and that's how we'll judge it. So if at least 2,000 people like the video, um, then we'll make more content uh, otherwise, the plan, like I told you guys, is to work with the developers. Um, they're helping me with my, uh, I got about two or three app ideas myself. Once I get experienced in it and confident and I can speak about it in a more intelligent manner, because keep in mind, this video 
is just the tip of the iceberg. It's way more to apps and making money and things than this. This is just putting your toe in the water. Uh, so trust me, it get way deeper than this. Um, but uh, I am working with them. There'll probably be some sort of webinar or course, and that's going to be in Hustle Academy. Um, so if this video doesn't get 2,000 likes, we'll just make the course. It'll be in Hustle Academy. And those of you that are interested in going in more in-depth and might have questions about um, how do I make my own custom app, so maybe you don't want to go to a site and buy a pre-made app. Maybe you have an app idea and you want to jump into it. Or maybe you want to go uh, more in-depth in analyzing apps. Maybe you want to go into depth about uh, reskinning apps and all of that stuff as well. Of course, I told you guys I'm working with people that have been in the game over a decade, right? I've been in the game just a few months. And trust me, it's people that they're still learning even a decade in the game. So um, it's way deeper than this. So that's how we'll play it. Um, so you can, guys can see how many likes the video has now. If the video don't have 2,000 likes, you could keep sharing this video on all your social media platforms, get the likes up, or um, you guys can just wait on the course to drop in Hustle Academy. Uh, reason why I want to do that is because um, I don't want to put out content that you guys aren't interested in. I do want to just expose you guys to different things and whatever you guys gravitate to the most, that's what we'll double down on uh, so I don't feel like I'm wasting my time, wasting you guys' time, and etc. But let's look at a couple more. Tricky Plumber is another Android app. Uh, it has 33 bids on it. It's at $315, six days left. Um, you guys know what I personally do. I want to go straight to the app store. Uh, this is going to make sure that it's actually in the app store. So if I see it here, I should be able to go on my Android phone and download it. And it looks like this one has a video. Let's see. You got to put the plumbing together. I don't know about this, you guys. What, what y'all think it is? Mm hmm. And yo, it's just one man's opinion, so... I'm not saying that uh, it's a bad app. It's just not my style. You got more videos on it? Okay, now nah, that's just screenshots now. It's cool, though. Um, I like the graphics. Graphics is cool. Uh, another cool thing about apps, too, is that um, you can create a portfolio of apps. You can market them, and nobody will know. Uh, for example, um, if I wanted to, and I'm not going to do it because uh, it's just not my style, um, I could buy this app, leave it as is, market it through um, ads. Like if you've ever been on an app, I'm sure you've been on Facebook, if nothing else, and seen ads. Or if you've been playing a game uh, app on your phone and you've seen a pop-up of another app and ended up downloading it that way. Um, I could just run ads that way, get downloads. And um, it could be people that don't personally like me, but um, they'll download my game. I'll get impressions. And, uh, and I can financially benefit from it. So uh, that's cool as well. So let's jump back. Six days left. The dollar reserve. All, right. All the game is here just like before. This person is from Bahrain. I apologize if I mispronounce any kind of words. Because um, I know sometimes you guys um, be tripping over the pronunciation. But uh, I, I'm definitely not going to try to pronounce his name. But um, I pronounce it Bahrain. Has over a thousand installs. It's three months old. Uh, it's doing pretty good on the ratings now. It got four and a half reviews, 44 reviews. Um, it's a free app again. You can't reskin it, um, which, I mean, I think you can reskin any app. But they're saying reskin, no, but they're going to give you the source code. Source code is important in case you want to change anything in the app. Net profit, $95 or more. So think about it. Let's say, uh, and since it's a bid, we don't know if it's going to end at three fifteen. dollars I, I would assume not. But let's say... All said and done, this gets to $500. Because I tell you guys in the beginning, I don't recommend buying any app that's over $500. Um, I would download it. I would play it myself. Um, I would want to see the financials on it. Make sure that it's, it's profitable. It seems legit. Make sure that I understand it. And at $500, 
and it makes me $95 per month net profit, to me, if, if that is true, right, that's not a bad investment. I'll spend $500 to get $95 a month uh, every single month, right? You know what I mean? I, I don't mind. Uh, that's how empires are built. And imagine if you get 10 of these, right? Not saying you got to go out and come up with $5,000 and buy 10 of them today. But I'm saying, what if you get this one? You wait six months. You use the profit for, from those six months. You buy another one. You wait another six months. You use the profit for those two apps. You buy two more apps. And again, that's in a perfect world. Of course, life uh, will play into it. But you guys get it for simplicity. Uh, you guys know where I'm going with this. And you can build a portfolio. Now, you should do way more research than this. Like I told you guys, uh, I'm going to depend on you guys' engagement to determine whether or not you guys like this sort of content or not. So if the video gets uh, 2,000 likes, I'll assume that you guys really like this content. Um, anything less than that from here on out, I'm going to assume that, hey, it might be cool content, but it's not a big enough audience of people for me to double down on it. So um, share this video with anybody you can think it can help. Uh, smash that like button if you haven't done so already. Let me make sure I touched on all of my questions. All right, so I showed you guys just briefly how I analyze apps. If I really was going to buy any of those apps, I would have spent way more time in there uh, breaking it down. I would have downloaded it. I would have played it for probably about at least two days, uh, and then I would have came back. Uh, well, I would have requested the financial information and everything ASAP, but I would have played the app for at least two days, um, and I would also uh, send it to some of my friends that are working alongside me, have them play it as well, and then we would make a decision collectively about you know how you feel about this investment. Uh, they do the same thing with me because behind the scenes, I'm working with uh, a small group of you guys, the Hustle Fam, uh, on doing this already. We got some beta testers for JT's Courier Run. Keep in mind, I'm going to drop some of the visuals of my gameplay in an explainer video here soon. So make sure post notifications are on. If you haven't been getting notifications, hit that notification bell once to turn it off. Hit it again to turn it back on so you can start getting all the notifications. Um, last question I have here. Uh, what is considered a good app? Uh, personally, I set the bar um, based off of my experience as an entrepreneur. Um, I think for me, I want an app to generate at least $200 profit per month. I know $200 to somebody out there say that ain't no money at all. Just like some people may have looked at the last example and said $95 a month ain't no money at all. But you got to think about it. If you're not marketing it or if you have an automated marketing system, remember we did a video talking about successful businesses are ran by systems and then people control the systems and we went into how that's super important. Your business should be set up that way. Um, if you have a business system in place that automates this process and I'm not spending over $500 an app and I'm making $95, $500 and et cetera, uh, per app, just depending on what it is, I'm okay with that. I build a portfolio of 10, 20, 30 apps over few years or however long it takes me to scratch my pennies together, I'm okay with that. Now, again, keep in mind, just because they say it's $95 net profit a month, don't take their word for it. Do your own due diligence, research it, find it to be true for yourself, right? Because anybody, I could come out and say, you could buy my app and it makes $100,000 a month, right? And then you buy it and it don't make you nothing a month. You're going to be mad uh, and then you'll probably come looking for me with, with your hammer, your shotgun, your flamethrower, your knife, and everything else. So um, keep in mind, I don't think none of you guys live in Bahrain. I don't know if any of you guys want to make a trip to Bahrain. Um, so, uh, yeah, do your due diligence, do your research. But that's all I have for you guys. So this is how, in a nutshell, let's put it all together, how you can get your own app for $500 or less. You can go to Flipper or just Google it, you guys, like, Google knows everything. So you can go build a list. I have a list of different websites that I like to use when it comes to apps. Not just a list of websites. I'm also cre uh, creating a list of developers. So if I have success with this developer that sell me the Tricky Plumber app, I might make a note of that. I might doc, uh, put his email in my spreadsheet and I'll try to build a relationship with him. Now this is one of my developers. So again, if Flippa ever goes out of business, I still have a way to contact him 
We can build a rapport with one another. He can be one of my developers that works on my team. What personally is my blueprint, and like I told you guys, this is not the only way to be successful. I think that I realize that a lot of people spend years of their life mastering making apps. Uh, and at first, when I was coming across people that can make these apps and they were selling them, my question was, why don't you just market them yourself and make money, uh, just like I touched on? And there are some people that understand that marketing um, is a beast as well, depending on how deep you want to go into it. So if they already spent several years of their life learning how to make dope apps, uh, they're not interested in learning marketing. They would much rather make apps for different people, sell them to you, let you worry about marketing them, and they build their business off of just uh, doing their thing, right? I'm going to show you guys uh, here real quick because I don't think we looked at uh, the Tricky Plumbers info. So 100% um, positive feedback across 55 transactions, totaling 29000 uh, and nine dollars, right? So uh, I don't know what period of time it took them to do these fifty-five transactions, but hey, this might be their business model, and they might do more than just this. So they might have several accounts that they're running, and etc. So you never know um, what somebody's situation is. So uh, I have found some people that they were honest with me, and they said that's why they didn't want to learn marketing and etc. So my blueprint is I'm still studying it. I want to be familiar with things. I understand the, the jargons. I can speak the language. I understand how it should work, how it should look. But actually getting in there and technically um, knowing how to do it is something that I'll probably learn over time and I'll probably never master it all. Um, but another thing you realize in business is you don't know, how, you don't have to, excuse me. You don't have to be a master of everything. Uh, for example, what I recently learned is that I need to sign APK file to put it in the Google Play Store. Do I know how to sign an APK file? No. Do I know that it has to be signed? Yes. Do I know how to check to see if it's signed? Yes. So I can work with a developer. If they send me one and it's unsigned, I can send it back. Hey, sign this APK file. Send it back to me so we can upload it in the Google Play Store and get this thing out of there. So just learning the jargon, understanding things, understanding things on that level, I think that's my approach. But again, like I told you guys, we're going to work on a course um, unless, you know, you guys are really interested in it. And uh, this this video just goes crazy. Uh, teaching you guys different levels because maybe you don't just want to know top level. I understand everything. And this is how... Um, I manage it and make money. I know some of you might want to get in the trenches and say, I'm going to make my own apps. I'm going to make apps for my family members and friends. And that's the route I want to take. I just don't want to manage a team of developers or know several dozen websites that I could go to to pull resources together and get stuff done and to each their own. But there you have it, you guys. Make sure post notifications are on. I'm dropping bangers like this. Back to back to back. Until next time. So I'm a hustler. Stay hustling. JT Hustles. I'm gone. I've done something special. I've wrestled with an alligator. Okay. I've tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning. Throw thunder in jail. Now you know I'm bad. Only last week I murdered a rock. Injured a stone. Hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean I make medicine sick.